My wife's over there. She's gonna set up a garage sale. Our neighbor's got one too over there. Oh, oh, oh. So while they do that, we're gonna go garage selling, right guys? First garage sale, a bust. Second garage sale, a bust. Third garage sale, bust. Bust. For oh. sale, bust. Fifth sale, what is it, kids? Bust. Bust. Sixth garage sale, yes. bust. bust. It's a big garage sale. It's a boy walking up though, walking away. Could be bad. Uh, we got two. Thirteen. Two really big sales, one over there as well. Uh, so that's what? 13. Now six, maybe seven and eight? Uh, 13. No. I think it's seven and eight? Eighteen. Bust. Okay. I've lost count. I'm at a cul-de-sac right now. I'm turning around. So I'm just gonna be like, another one, bust. No bust. Exactly. Other garage sale? Bust. What is it? Bust. Bust. I love old people as much as the next guy. Don't get me wrong. But, man, they don't really have good stuff to, to sell. We have, every garage sale today has been old people. One guy, guy, was selling napkins. That's it. Tables and tables of napkins. All right, this garage sale may be my last one because I'm tired. More old people. Another what? Come on, Ariels. Say it with me. Another what? Bust? She's so tired. She can't even say it. Another bust. Well, I'm home. The garage sale thing was a bust, unfortunately. Yes, a bust. And, um, but I still have a couple cool things to show you guys that I picked up. Oh, we're over back. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that commercial break. Unless you're watching this on YouTube, then it's just a segment. I'm Joel Valley. Let's get that thing out of here. There we go. I'm Joel Valley, Michael Manager, Mike, Matcher, Michael, my, my stage manager, Michael! Michael Manager, manager. Too much, too much. Are you gonna pop your head in here? Say hi. Can you do that? You're allowed to do that, right? Oh, look at that face, it's beautiful. And then we got Cody, of course, in the back. Cody, what's up? Hey! Awesome, she's switching today, right? Changing things up a little bit, and as you've seen, sorry. It's taking me so long to get to that. Oh, do you, are you are you working that out for me? Yeah, let's, I don't want movies. I don't want, I want video games. I'm talking about video games. People are you're seeing the behind the scenes right now, live TV, how we do things, <laughs> how we do things. Okay, so man, you knew the day would happen. The day has arrived. We are here, where Joel did not find not one video game at a garage sale. Wah, wah, wah. I know it sucks. It's so bad. I, I, it's depressing when you spend all that gas money. Oh man! But I do have pickups because I bought some stuff recently. Want to share it with you guys? So if not all, we can still have an episode. Keep. You don't have to change the channel. You can stay with me. So the first things. All this is kind of interesting stuff because the. Let me just say I got. I walked into my office and my work and someone had found these games. Found them. So they put it, they gave them to me. Thought I might like them. Nothing like amazing. But honestly, I don't have either of these games. Are we ever going to switch, Cody? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, NBA. Uh, what is this? Court side for the N64. Uh, we got that. And then we got this right here. What's out? This is cool. Can you see that, Mike? Mike? Okay. So it's a damn cool museum. Uh, 64. Miss Pac-Man. Uh, Galaga, I think, is on here. 
which is my mother's favorite game. If people don't know that, my mother is a huge, huge Galaga fan. It's probably where I get my video game addiction. So, next up, uh, I got a couple. One I've been really wanting for the PS3. I'll show you this one. I've been really, really wanting this. I got this off a of leap trade. Ah, oh, there we go. Alice. I can't, honestly, I don't remember what I paid for it. Oh, I, I, I paid nothing. I can tell you that much because, you know, leap trade gives me stuff, so. For nothing, I got I got Alice for the PS3. I hear amazing things about this game, and I've been wanting to play it for a long time. And, boom, you see that, Valkyrie Chronicles? Oh, there we go. I got this off of leap trade, too, for free 99 Best price in the world. So, excited because I want to play both of these games. I want to play both of these games. Now, uh, my friend Jimmy, lots of games, tell me about a game. He said I had to play it. It's pretty cheap. You pick it up cheap. I bought it for eight bucks, so I couldn't pass it up. Uh, and I have not played it yet. I have not played it yet, but I'm excited to play this. Shadow Warrior for the PS4. Hear amazing, great things about this. And my boy Jimmy's never steered me wrong. So, I'm, I'm happy to have that. Next up. Now, a lot of people don't like this game. It's one of my favorites in the series. Michael's shaking his head. He's all mad at me. Dude, I love this game. I love this game. I don't know why. It's not, I mean, it's not Resident Evil 2. Oh, man, I'm going to get hung in the comment section when I say this. But, I like this better than Resident Evil 4. Yeah, I said it. Oh my goodness, I'm already getting the... Put down the sword, Michael. Why? Why? Dude, I, I don't know why people hate this game. This game's good, man. This game's good. This game is good. Resident Evil 4 is a good game, but it takes... It, I have a hard time getting into it. Every time I play it, I'm like... Uh, oh, and I'll tell you why Resident Evil 4 isn't as awesome. Because I'm a Spanish speaker, Michael. Okay, you want to put the, you want to get up close? He wants to get up close, because I'm about to get personal, okay? The reason why Resident Evil 4 does, is it, it's not scary at all, it's not, it's because I speak Spanish, I hear what these people are saying, so it, that kind of takes us the element out of it. Like, where you, when you play it, you're like, oh, I don't know what these guys are saying, they're coming after me, oh, gee, what am I going to do? Right? I don't have that. I'm like, oh, yeah, I, I hear what you're saying, you're coming to kill me. And that's the other thing, is they all have like these Spanish accents, so we laugh. Like I played this when I lived in Mexico, we were all just cracking up. Everything, all the stupid stuff they say, you know? It's not, I don't know. So, therefore, it's it's a good game, but it, you know, it made, made us laugh. We had some shuckles. We had some shuckles. That's all I'll say. Okay? Now, that's, oh wait. And then when I was at Game on Expo, Alpha Omega Sin uh, was talking about a game and how much he played and how much he liked it. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to buy this game. I'm going to buy this game because Alpha liked it so much, talked so much about it. And I went online and it just so happened they were selling the game. Now, new, it was still going for 59 bucks. I ended up getting this for like 30 something. Not just the game, but the collector's edition. I don't know, man. It was crazy. Let me pull it up for you, kids. That's right. We're talking about Doom, baby. The collector's edition, which comes with that big statue. Now, it's kind of cool because that statue has uh, a fan in it. You put the batteries in, and it's got this red light. So when you put it in the dark, it's like the fan. Oh, man. So cool, so cool. So I'm so happy to get this for under 40 bucks. And these things were like 120. 120 or something when they came out, so pretty cool. Golly, Cody, learn. You gotta get close up with my junk, son. I'm trying to do my job here. Hey, I, what, you think I'm gonna put the box, leave the box on there my whole show? Dude, I, I did stop, all right. Last pickup of the day. Now, if you guys don't know, I recently got a PC. Because my Mac died. And I needed to continue editing. 
and I can't afford to edit, like, we shoot in 4K now, right? Ultra HD. Uh, a lot of my work that I do at work is HD, so I needed a big computer and I just couldn't afford getting a Mac that could handle it. Because Macs are freaking expensive, man. Holy cow. And so I got a PC, so I'll be doing a lot more Steam games. You're gonna see a lot more Steam games because I get offered Steam codes like there's no tomorrow. And so we'll be able to play those. Cody's gonna play those. But I just wanted to share with you what I put into my PC recently. There it is, man. You like that? Nvidia, uh, the, the 1080. I'm still learning about this, guys. I'm still learning what what all of it means. But I'll tell you what, it plays Tomb Raider, Rise of the Tomb Raider, maxed out settings, no issues at all. So good. I'm glad you switched off my junk. I'm gonna put this uh, put this thing there. So anyway, that's my pickups, guys. It's sad that I didn't find anything in the wild, but it did give me a chance to show you some of the recent stuff that I picked up. So. Again, if you like this episode, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I know it's a little crazy. We got a lot of stuff. We got new cameras. A lot of things going on right now. Probably a longer episode than it should be. But thank you guys so much for sticking with us. We love you. Thank you so much. We'll see you.